Hallo, Michael Adams für Stock Telegraph, immer noch natürlich auf der Edelmetallmesse 2016 in ähm, München. Genau, immer noch. Äh, ich hoffe, das Bild wackelt nicht allzu sehr. Wir haben das hier nämlich auf einem äh, Tisch und ja, da wird ab und zu mal angestoßen. Aber ich habe auf jeden Fall einen sehr, sehr interessanten Gesprächspartner, und zwar Rob Tindall. Er ist CEO von Transatlantic Mining. And, äh, und ja, worum es bei der Firma geht, äh, das wird er uns jetzt, denke ich mal, hoffentlich erzählen. Well, thanks for taking the time to talk to me and yeah maybe give us kind of uh, your background first and then like the big picture of the company yeah sure um, so look I'm a, an investment banker by background and been focused on the resource industry for probably 20 years in Australia okay um, came out of the big banking sort of scene over there and and funded a lot of different projects and Uh, one of the things that I started to see was that management was critical uh, to all the things that, that, that are successful and uh, had an opportunity when Bernie Sostak left Northern Star to start to put together what is really a world-class sort of mining team. Um, Bernie and I started to have a look at a few things and uh, Transatlantic was one of the, the things that stuck out because of the asset that was in Idaho. But what we recognised is that near-term cash flow wasn't going to come out of that project, so we went and found another project in Montana, which is now the US Grant project, that we could see near-term cash flow coming out of. And, and look, our focus is really about building a mining business that has really good, strong cash flow, because from there we think you can leverage into other assets and grow the business with other assets as well. Right, and so actually it's... Um two different types of commodities. The project in Montana is a gold project together with some silver and the project in Idaho is a copper project but also teamed up with gold and silver, right? So what's what's the stage of the two projects right now? Okay, so the, the US Grant project, which was the gold-silver project, we poured our first dory uh, around about two weeks ago okay. and we've got around about 14 tonne of concentrate sitting there ready to go out. For, for processing. So that, that mine has basically been recommissioned, the mill has been recommissioned and ramped up and uh, we're basically in a phase now where we're moving towards full mining. You know, at two levels, in two different places, uh, we're starting to stockpile ore, so it's, it's becoming a full production asset uh, and we're expecting cash flow positive mining in the next month and then we expect the company to be cash flow positive in the first quarter of next year as a result of that mine. That sounds really impressive and to be honest I didn't expect that because the stock is trading at whatever seven cents or where's uh, it trading? trading at six and a half cents in a market cap of 10 million. Yeah so why, why is that? Give us some, I know you can't really talk about it but but what are some ideas why at these stages what you just said you're being cash flow positive, why the stock is trading at these low levels is there not enough eyeballs on the story or what's the main, the main problem? Yeah, no, no one knows who we are no one knows um, what we're doing we haven't been out and told too many people about what we do you know at the end of the day we've spent all of our money in the ground to get cash flow positive and we're just starting to get out and actually talk to investors and talk to the wider investment community to raise some awareness as to what we're actually doing which to be honest is to me the best thing a company can do yeah a lot of companies and you're familiar with that yeah a lot of companies have nothing don't spend a cent in the ground but do the huge promotion um, and we all know the results of these type of business deals yeah so I like this approach yeah to pay to build a solid foundation have something which you then later on need to promote and I'm totally with you uh, there is a right point in time when you need to get the word out and yeah that's probably your your Uh, participating here in the Munich show that's probably one of the first steps um, I you will you also participate in the upcoming conferences in Canada like the Cambridge house and yeah we'll do Cambridge we'll do PDAC we'll, okay. we'll present at PDAC uh, we'll do a couple of the Australian shows and even the Asian shows so we, we're starting to get out there we're starting to actually tell the story um, it's a good story it's a, it's a proper mining story with with cash flow and production so you know our focus has been to build the base and from here we need to really leverage that okay no I again I, I totally yeah it's the first time actually that I'm, I'm talking to to Rob and that I got aware of the company but um, I have to 
start my due diligence and dig way further into the material and um, wh where can investors find more information? Yeah, so the website transatlantic.com is, uh, is a good start. Um, from there there's, there's presentations and things and, and obviously uh, there's a contact there where if they need to get hold of myself um, we're more than happy to provide further technical information for those that really want to have a dig too deep into it. Um, but the, the presentations themselves give a good summary of the company, good summary of the assets, good summary of the strategy and, and really that's what it's about. It's about having a good strategy and executing that strategy in a timely efficient manner. Wow, I'm kind of flashed almost. Um, last question from my end would be, uh, what's your shareholder base look like? Is it more institutions, which I would assume, or is it more retail? Yeah, it, it, interesting. We've really been funded to this point in time by high net worth private investors out of Australia, in okay. particular, who understand the team and what we're trying to achieve. Recently, we've brought in some really good institutional investors, one in particular out of Germany and a fund out of Australia. Okay. So for a, for a small sort of 10 million market cap, um, the types of investors that are starting to be attracted to the story are really world class. And, and that's what we're really sort of... Um, I guess resting on is, is our ability to execute by giving investors some real upside from where we are today. Okay, so again, I'm, I'm really flashed. Yeah, when, when I'm back in the office next week, I will start my own due diligence. Yeah, I have to admit, I didn't do my homework before this video interview. Um, but yeah, this is why it's so important to, to come to these type of shows, right? Because you always get something, some new information, learn something new and discover interesting companies like transatlantic mining so uh, thank you very much for the insight thanks michael we appreciate you um, taking the time you're welcome yeah